I don't know of any good data that protein ahead of exercise is useful. There's one study by Kevin Tipton. We've done studies with rats and humans. We see no benefit of protein ahead of time. The body goes through uh, a catabolic period during exercise, whether you have it ahead of time or not. So contrary to what a lot of trainers believe, I see no benefit at all ahead of time. I think there may be satiety. So now we ask how far ahead, what's your pregame meal going to look like? I think having protein at a pregame meal two hours ahead helps you feel good, helps you have energy, but it's not going to protect your muscle. Okay. So there's different reasons to have protein. Protein after exercise, we're guilty of actually starting this nonsense. The, what we know is that with extreme exercise, muscle becomes catabolic. And so we use that model to actually discover the leucine mTOR. So protein synthesis is regulated at two distinct levels. One is what we call transcriptional, which is gene level. And that's where your hormones come in. That's what testosterone and estrogen do. They regulate the amount of RNA you have. They re regulate your capacity. Where diet actually regulates more of what we call the translational level, and that's leucine and mTOR, meal to meal. Okay, so what we wanted to do was create a catabolic condition that we knew only affected the translational level, tr the mTOR level, and not the gene level. So we did an, we did our first experiments were an hour, hour plus of, of intense exercise. And we created a catabolic period that downregulated protein synthesis. And we showed then that it, the body stayed that way until you ate protein. And so everybody jumped on that and said, well, we, you should have protein right after exercise for recovery. And people, you know, Halazi and others had always said you need carbohydrates for recovery too. So that's all true. The, the issue we now know is that the protein after exercise really only is critical in an untrained individual. If the person is well-trained, you really don't go through a catabolic period. If you're going out and you're training, you know, you know, every day and you're running 10 miles, getting ready for a marathon, and then you go out the day of your marathon and run 26, you're going to be catabolic. So you probably would get a benefit having protein soon after. But if you go to the gym and you're working out for an hour every day doing exactly the same thing, it doesn't matter when your next meal is, whether it's 30 minutes later or two hours later, you're going to get the same benefit. So the whole idea of having protein timed exactly before or after exercise, I think people need to understand that that is an untrained maximum performance, one-time acute effect. That's not routine. So I, I sort of downplay the timing around protein. I think that distributing it as three meals a day, maybe some athletes want to go for four meals a day, uh, four to five hour intervals. I think that's great. Someplace in there, you fit in your exercise and chances are that exercise is within two hours of the next meal. I think that's fine. So these guys who are carrying protein supplements into the gym and chugging them on the way out are wasting money. Wasting money. So, and that's because the the muscle is still going to be catabolic if you are if you are moving the muscle, if you're training the muscle close to muscle failure, the muscle is still breaking down. So you are not going to prevent it, you know, that. Having protein ahead of time makes no sense. Make having it afterwards, sense. I think it's fine. But whether you have it 30 minutes afterwards or two hours, you're going to get the same net effect. So someone who's been training for longer than a year. I would say really... four months, you know, someone okay. who's doing basically the same training, they're, they're skilled at it. it. It's no longer exhaustive. They can do it. It's pretty comfortable. So, you know, a, a kid doing, you know, football practice after the first week of being sore, you're basically trained. So there's no more benefit. During that first two weeks of fall football practice or soccer practice, having protein, there may be benefit to that. I, I, I don't have a problem with that. 
But again, these guys who are going to the gym every day, day in, day out, and buying expensive protein supplements, they're not getting a benefit from that.